the problem with motivation is that to me and i'm sure it's the same for you if motivation is a booster meaning that imagine that you're in a car you're driving to me motivation is like you see this nitro bottle you see in some action movies where the guy is already driving at uh, let's say 100 miles per hour and then he up he opens the nitro and then he goes up to maybe 200 miles per hour very quickly and so you need to be already in the car you need to be already at a, a certain amount of speed to benefit from this boost and motivation is exactly that so if you count only on motivation to learn programming and to keep on improving this is a big problem because there will be period of times during which you have no motivation at all so what would you do would you give up and the problem with giving up is then that you have to restart and this is uh, i like this it's, it was a meme but it's so true if you're fed up of starting over just don't give up so okay so but easier said than done so how can you do to not give up when you have something that takes time i'm an impatient guy so i had to trick myself to keep on doing things like learning to call learning or to play music the best way is to program yourself with habits and this is what i do on a daily basis i practice for at least three pomodoros what i call pomodoros it's not my invention it's something that is famous i practice 50 minutes and then I take a 10 minute break. So every day I don't have to ask myself what am I going to do? I know precisely what I'm going to do. It's so one hour it's because I want to keep a balance between fundamental knowledge that needs to be reviewed regularly to me it's design patterns and studying new things to keep in touch with what's happening right now. CSS for front end developers is very important. This really allows to make nice things to have responsive layout to spice things up a little with a nice animations where they should be and see all these kind of things and another pomodoro of um, studying a new framework these days i'm studying astro simply because uh, it relies mostly on your existing html css and javascript knowledge plus then the, the super good stuff that there is with astro and it's one of these new full stack frameworks uh, with uh, server-side rendering and server-side generating, but uh, I will explain this in another video. There is a huge adv advantage with this that I never have to ask myself, am I motivated or not? No, I, now it, it became a habit, so I just do it every day. The other thing is that it gives me boosts of dopamine, for example, when I review design patterns that I know, I start, for example, watching a video or reading a blog article about this design pattern and then I play, I press pause or I stop my reading and I try implementing the thing myself. So I've got this dopamine boost when I manage to make it work, even if my solution is not exactly like the, the one of uh, the, the author. At least you have this dopamine boost because you have an immediate feedback. And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. At first you discover the new skill that you want to master. So you have the pleasure of discovering something new and then when you review it, you, you will be rewarded because you will be able to implement it yourself. For CSS, it works exactly this way also because you're so happy when you learn a new way, of, for example, a new way of creating a layout using Flexbox or CSS Grids or when you learn how to make animations or you see, you, you have an immediate feedback, so you have this dopamine boost. So this is the second important thing is habit is way more efficient than motivation because you can count on a habit when you've managed to install it. And it doesn't take long, it takes a couple of weeks. It lasts. So you see, it's like a truck. It takes more time for a truck to reach a certain speed, but when it's got this speed, it's very hard to stop. Whereas with a motorbike, for example, you can easily go fast, but then you can <laughs> you can uh, very easily also fall from it. And uh, I unfortunately took from experience as I broke my elbow last year falling from a bike. You can rely on habits way more than you can rely on motivation. So what is your technique to keep motivated? And if you're an impatient guy like me, what how did you manage to beat your impatience? Please leave a comment.